Good morning, guys. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. So, I hope you guys looked at my video last night that I posted. I wanted to post a video earlier in the day, but I did make one last night, and I showed you some trades that I was in. Okay. Now, um, what I what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy that link that I, for the video that I made last night, or just go back on my channel. Look at the video that I did yesterday. Okay. Look at look at it. Just look at it. <laughs> Um, and tell me what you think. I already, um, I already posted it, like I said, and I'll put the link down there and you just guys click on it. Okay. So, so I'm continuing the, the trades that I was in yesterday. Right. So I'm at the point where I don't want to be flagged as a day trader. So I have to be careful. Okay. Did I buy anything that I'm going to sell today? No, because if I sell today, I would not be flagged as a day trader okay so i didn't even buy like three shares of what i bought yesterday because of the stuff that i have that's um that's pretty much in the money i didn't buy any shares to stack on top of it. that's what i'm trying to say because i'll be flagged as a day trader so i got a couple more days and i'll be out that situation but this is what i'm in i i have to really keep an eye on it because it's moving a lot i'm willing to take a, a at risk and just come out with a certain amount of money i mean everyone wants to get the top but sometimes you can't catch the top and sometimes i hope because i just want to wait to see what the market is going to do when it's open okay so these are the two main ones okay p e g y i am in this um go back and look at my video from yesterday i have um, 1, 1058 shares Excuse me. The market value is one hundred fifty-eight dollars. I'm up um, ninety-two dollars right now. One hundred fifty. Look over there. One hundred and fifty-eight percent. I'm up. Okay. So I could take it now. Should I take the ninety-five dollars? We're gonna see. Okay. Now I'm waiting to. I have an out price. Okay. I'm fine with ninety dollars. I'm fine with eighty dollars. Okay. I have a price where. If it comes down to this certain price, and I could put a stop loss, or um, or I can um, I can set it up to where I can just sell at a certain price. But if it comes down to a certain price, I'm just going to get out of it completely. Okay, I'm just going to get out of it. Um, <clears throat> but it's 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 tempting. Like today, the mark these some of these stocks. It's a lot of volume. What's the volume? Uh, over 128 million. So it's like. It's, it's, it makes big swings down, big swings up, and it came very close to my out price. If I would have set a stop loss, um, it probably would have tricked. It probably would have sold my stock because it shot down like way below it, and then it went way back up like very quickly. So I have to be careful that I'm, I just want to keep an eye on it. So um, <clears throat> my average cost on this stock was 0 0.05, and right now it's already at look up there. It's already 14. Okay. Um, like I said, look at my video from yesterday and you see, and you'll see what it was yesterday price. So I'm watching P E G Y pineapple energy. A lot of people's watching that. Um, a lot of people's watching this. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Sorry about that guy. <laughs> so, and a lot of people's watching this stock too. It's, it's trying to come down from its high this morning. And this one, I really want to be careful of this one because, um, I'm up 43%. My average cost right there is 0 0.07 and the price is at, at 10, okay, 10 cent. Um, I have 2,518 shares. Where could this go? Where, what price could it go to? Who knows, okay? But you do know one thing. Keep this in mind. With penny stocks, you do know one thing. They know they have to be compliant. They know they have to get back to that dollar mark. Not saying that it will. But if they want to stay on the stock exchange, they need to do what they can to stay on the market. OK, so kind of keep that in mind. You can kind of use it as a strategy, but it depends on the company. Is the company really trying to stay on the stock market or are they just trying to get what they're going to get and just going to let the, the company go down? Who knows? OK, but the whole goal of a company is to try to stay listed on the stock market. So keep that in mind also uh, it's trying to come down now from this pre-market high because it was up here this morning like at 720 
um, <clears throat> at 13 cent. But I'm going to keep my eye on this. I do have an out price for this, okay? And some people are like, well, why didn't you sell up here? When, when I hear people say that, it's like, how do you know what up here is? How do you know? You're saying that after the fact. Now you can see that it was there, but you cannot predict the future when you're already way over here. You see what I'm saying? When you're way over here, no one can say, well, why didn't you sell up here? Well, how can I say it was going to go there when I'm, when I'm over here? Okay, right? So you can't predict the future. So you got to have a set out price when it comes to these things. Get in, figure out what you're going to do, have an out price, you know, have a buy-in price, whatever, whatever. Um, but I am watching this very closely. If it trick, if it goes down to a certain price, I'm just going to get out. When I get in, when it goes to my minimum profit, that's what I'm trying to say. I'm going to get out. I don't care what it does after that. I don't care because you know I may I already made enough money to buy a couple of Happy Meals, right? <laughs> um, so I'm going to watch this very closely. Who knows what's going to happen when the market opens? It could come slamming down. It could come riding up and then slamming down. Who knows? But I do know one thing. I know there's quite a few people are watching it. I think one of these stocks got over a billion dollars yesterday. I'm watching TTOO also. But one of these stocks got over a billion. Um, the volume was like at a billion, I think. It was one of these. So I know a lot of people, it's very volatile. A lot of people were in on it. I don't know what's going on. I didn't look, I didn't look into the details of these companies. I'm just here to try to make money. I don't care what they're doing. Um, the only thing I need to worry about is are they gonna get delisted today or tomorrow? That's the thing I, I try to keep track of, okay? I haven't looked at, I haven't looked at um, when they're delisting, delisting, if they got a notice to be delisted. I don't know what the dates are on that. So this is where you guys come in. If you know this stuff, come back to my video and put it in there. When is their deadline to be compliant with the stock market, okay? I need to know that everyone needs to know that so that's why we're all here right we're all learning okay i'm not no um guru at the stock market but i am learning I'll tell you that right now i am learning and um, i'm also into crypto so i'm pretty much up on a lot of cryptos that i have and i'll talk about that later so he's trying to come down i might have to get out of this here so okay but that's it guys these well not that's not it i'm watching ttoo i feel like i bought back in only bought three shares because I was trying to see what it was going to do yesterday. If it would have ran and I made 20 bucks or whatever, I would have just took that. Okay. So, but I want to keep an eye on TTO because I think something's going to happen. I don't know, but I want to keep it. I want to keep it close. This is another one. This was another morning runner. Um, I seen it, but I didn't get into it and I probably should have. And then I ended up, I ended up chasing it like it was up here. So I only grabbed 10 shares. It was $14. 10 shares, $14 is the market value. I'm down like 8%. Um, it, it's, it appears that when, just like looking at the chart, like it appears, this is not financial advice, by the way. Okay, so it appears that it's ready to hook back up, okay? It appears that it's, it's ready to swing back up probably when um, get close to the nine o'clock hour and it appears like it's going to try to hook up here and or try to go back and test this high if it does doesn't go past this high right here then it's going to come slamming down okay so those are the ones i'm watching lsdi i'm watching ttoo i'm watching um g wave some people call it g wave so it's g w a why these people keep calling these, these spam callers, man? It's crazy. Um, GWAV, Green Wave Technology Solution. I'm watching PEGY. Everybody's watching this one, and everybody's watching this one here. Um, oh, I'm up. See, this was another one I, I didn't tell you guys about. I think I mentioned it yesterday. Um, KITT. I only have 31 shares, okay? I want to see. 
I need is this the one that has a lot of ups and downs? There was one that I don't know where I can't see it. This is not this is not it. There was one that had a lot of swings up and down. So I want to keep an eye on this too, okay? This is on people's mind also, K I T T. Um <clears throat> and I had this in the past and I sold it, I believe. Go back over there. Uh, by yeah, May 13, then I sold it. 14, 13, sold it at a little bit of loss. I bought my Ken at 15, um, bought some at 16. And, okay, so there's my show. That's the show I, I listen to up there, guys. Live Trading View. That show is a really good show. If you want to get learned, if you want to like kind of figure out what the lingo is in the stock market, go watch that show. But yeah, K-I-T-T, -T, that's on people's minds also, okay? So K-I-T-T, -T, um, P-E-G-Y, G-W-A-V, and T-T-O-O -O is just on the back burner. I'm watching that. And this one is L-S-D-I. Uh, See, it hooked back up just like I said it was. See, it's trying to run. I had a feeling it was going to do that. I had a feeling it was going to do that. I got 10 shares, okay? So those are the ones I'm watching. Let's go back over here and... Uh, there, there's some things I am in the red up here. There's some things that got delisted. So those are things you got to be careful for. So um, there's my profits over there. Ten shares. I'm at a dollar profit over here. Um, TTO sixty six cent, sixty five dollars on G Wave. Um, Peggy, I'm at um, ninety six dollars, and KITT is just at fifty five cent. Okay. All right, guys. I have to go. See you in the next one. Leave a comment. Um, if you have any information of any of these stocks, if they're going to get delisted, that's the most important thing for penny stocks. You, we have to know that. So get back with me and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. Peace.